Now I get a lot of people asking me, how did you get into reviewing cars and how can I get into reviewing cars? Well, uh, with the path that I took is not the typical one and I think that there is no real one typical way to get into reviewing cars. A lot of it comes down to luck, who you know, and, uh, and just breaking down the doors and getting started. So I'll give you kind of my background. Uh, I have been in my whole adult life in broadcasting. So I went to school. I, first of all, I grew up in Toronto, Ontario, and I went to school in London, Ontario. went to uh, Fanshawe College for broadcasting, and I started out my career as a, a disc jockey. I was a top 40 DJ in London, Ontario when I was a young guy. I started uh, on the air when I was 18. My first professional job, I was 20 playing the hits backwards in order from six to number one, the top six at six, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I did that and, um, and then when I, I wanted to leave London, Ontario because I grew up in a big city, I wanted to be in a major market. It was either gonna be Toronto or Vancouver. I had a friend of mine lived in Vancouver. I came out to Vancouver, loved it. And then in 1991, started a new radio station here in Vancouver called Z95. And I worked there uh, for uh, six years. And, and in, the, in the meantime, it was around 1992, um, they needed some content for a radio show they were producing. Now, my dad is a retired newspaper guy. And he had some friends when I was growing up in Toronto that did what I do now for newspapers. And I said to them, I always loved cars ever since I was a little kid. I could tell every model, make, you name it, every year, you name it. Uh, like a lot of people that are watching this that are enthusiasts about cars, I could tell you everything about them. And I said to them, how do you get into this? And they said, well, first of all, you need an outlet that is going to let you talk about the cars. And then you go to the car manufacturers and ask if you can get them. So in those days, it was much easier because you had radio, TV, newspapers. That was really at magazines, that sort of thing. Now you've got everything online for the most part. Now all those sorts of outlets still do exist, but you add in all the online and there's so many more variables that you can do. YouTube is huge. Of course, you're watching it on YouTube. So um, I did that. I went to them and I said, hey, I've got an outlet. I've got this five minutes a week on the radio. I'd like to do a car review. And they said, sure. My dad made a few phone calls to a few of his friends and I started getting cars to review. So once again, it's kind of who you know and how you can get started. So that was 1992. So it's been 25 years since I've been reviewing cars. So I did that on the radio um, for about a year or so. And then in 1994, I started a, a community access TV show. You've maybe heard of Wayne's World, <laughs> started on cable TV. I went and then uh, started a TV show called Street Test. It was on Delta Cable here, just in the Vancouver area. And did that for like eight years, won two national Galaxy Awards, won the national award for uh, best on-camera performance. So I was doing everyday radio in Vancouver, and then um, I switched to doing everyday TV. I uh, was the local morning weather guy for uh, almost 10 years. And, but that whole time, I was reviewing cars for, for um, the community channel. I was doing newspaper articles and, and so on. And then uh, when I got to the TV station, I said, hey, can I get five minutes again to do uh, a review on the TV? And they said, sure, same thing. Every week I got a car to review. And then about 14 years ago, uh, some local producers came to me and said, we want to start a TV show called Driving TV. And you, at the time where I was younger, um, younger, and you know how to do TV and you know about cars. So put together a new TV show. And here we are into our 14th season for that show. It runs right across Canada on global television. And then um, in 2006, I left daily TV and radio, local TV and radio, and went 100% to just doing automotive. So that's exactly 10 years I've been reviewing cars exclusively and I don't do that uh, radio and TV stuff anymore locally. Uh, I still do a radio show here in Vancouver, but it's about cars. I still do a TV show, but it's about cars and I, I do some other things uh, as well. But in 2011, I decided to uh, start my YouTube channel. If I had known, um, 
then what I know now, I would have started the YouTube much, much earlier because the people that got in early on YouTube uh, were able to get much, much bigger followings. It's much harder now. Uh, if you have ever tried to do a video and put it on YouTube, it takes a long time to get recognized as one of the top channels. And thankfully, I do now have Motormouth Canada is the largest YouTube channel, automotive YouTube channel for Canadians. It certainly isn't the biggest. There are many, many bigger channels in the United States, but I focus on the Canadian market and I I love that everybody around the world, including many Americans, watch, and I'm thankful for that. Because the cars are almost the same on one side of the border to the other. There are differences though. Many cars do have slightly different trims, different price, different fuel economy, all those sorts of things. So I've really honed in on the Canadian market as my bread and butter. You know, I'd rather be a big fish in a small pond than the other way around. Uh, so, so that's how I've I've got it all going. So um, the one thing that's different about me compared to many people that review cars, almost all of the people I know that review cars start out as print. You know, they started out in newspapers or they start out online. They do uh, articles for websites. I'm the opposite. I started out in electronic media, radio and TV. So I come about it as a broadcaster first and sure, I can write reviews for online, but I'm really all about the electronic media and I think that's what I excel at. So my advice to anybody that wants to get started in this racket is that, uh, first of all, it's not a job. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And um, there are many, many perks. I'm sitting in a $110,000, $20,000 Mercedes right now. I travel all over the world, going to different auto shows and getting to test drive cars all over the world. Uh, so uh, when people say, hey, that's a, it's a great job, I say, well, it sure beats working for a living. But to get to the top of the pyramid, to be one of the top uh, reviewers in North America is very, very tricky. There's a lot of people that have websites or they start out at the uh, trying to get access to cars and, uh, and get going. But to get up to the top, it takes uh, a lot of work. And it's like any profession. Um, uh, you have to have a bit of luck, you have to have skill, you have to know what you're talking about first and foremost, and that's what I've done. So that's a sort of a, a roundabout way of saying where I started and how others can possibly follow, but it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, but a lot of hard work too. And if you have any questions, you can put them below in the comments. It's always nice to hear from you. If you want me to do more videos like this, I'd be happy to. I was doing sort of question and answer people looking for cars. It kind of petered out. So we'll try this, see how it goes. Uh, always looking for new input. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe.